Hey, my little love bugs. It's Tosh Point Fro, and it is mukbang time. I'm so hungry. Today I'm eating a rotisserie chicken, and I have some more smashed cauliflower, mashed cauliflower, aka mashed potatoes, but it's not mashed potatoes. It's better for you, but it's still delicious. Mm. And I picked up this whole rotisserie chicken. And I cannot wait to dig into it because I've been hungry. I think I start off every mukbang saying how hungry I am. Mm. And then I got smart on them today. I put my water bottle in the freezer. Then I put some strawberries because it has that thing in it to pull fruit. And I never do it. So... We about to dig in. Now, if you're new to my channel, I pretty much talk about the food because it's delicious. Um, I also talk about like my life and my journey because I'm on this like journey of self-love and building myself up and whatever else pops in my head, the stuff that goes on in my life. Yeah, I just talk to y'all about it like that's it so i'm not about to even i don't uh, i don't know how i want to do this chicken but mm. i've been waiting to dig it in. i bought it mm. from walmart mm. I don't know if y'all ever had their rotisserie chicken, but it's so good. But see, you gotta be careful. You can't get it by the by the checkout. Here okay, we're gonna turn this around so I can start eating on that part. Yeah, that still look good. You can't get it by the checkout because that's where they put the old chicken. You gotta go back in the meat section. I fork ain't gonna do it. Mm. I even gave Jamie some of this and he hates vegetables he was like oh but this time I put in I don't even know if I'm going to need this other plate this time I put in um, garlic salt pepper I didn't have any cheese, so I put a little cream cheese in it and a little bit of butter. I don't know if it's still healthy, but it's still good. I wish y'all could see it better. Here, here. Because, oh, we're gonna cover me up. It looks just like mashed potatoes, but the lighting is making it like really white, so it's like kind of drowning it out. But it's good. And I don't feel guilty eating a bunch. Mm, mm, mm. Jojo is man in the camera per the use. And I'm about to hop up in this chicken. Because we ain't got time to play. I want all this. Oh my God. Give me the chicken. Get, give me, quit fighting me. Give me the chicken. Oh, I want it. They got that string on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting you. Why? Okay. Yeah, it was a whole string. I just wasn't being smart about it. But yeah. It's about to get messy because I don't feel like using a fork for the chicken. They just season it so well. It'd be all juicy. It'd be juice in the bottom. It's juice on the bottom of the pan. Mm. And you know what? I have a rotisserie maker. I should try to do a chicken. Because, like, for Thanksgiving, what I would do is I would put... Because it was just, you know, it was me and Jamie back when I was cooking for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
So I would never make a turkey. I think I made a whole turkey once. But it's so much food. And it's just us. So. Mm. Mm. I was I was hungry. Mm. I probably just needed to eat. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment letting me you know that you knew so I can say hey. Mm. And of course, shout out to all my new subscribers because I think I got like 12 new subbies in the last two days. So hey y'all, welcome to the family. Mm. You want some Jojo? I'll just put it back there so y'all can... Oh, you can't even see him past the chicken. <laughs> He's tearing it up, though. Oh, well. Man, I'll tell you, when you got food, he is the most obedient dog in the world. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. So for the people that are working who are um, asking for just a video of burps, I'm working on a burp compilation. But it's going to take some time, so just be patient with me because I'm trying to pull the videos that I still have copies of and get snippets from those. So it's going to be a little time consuming to do, but I, I know I can pull it off. Hmm. Uh. Got that thigh meat. Mm. Oh, I was talking about the rotisserie and I forgot. So we have a, I have a rotisserie machine or rotisserie maker, whatever it's called, that I got from my grandma. And it's like this George Foreman rotisserie. And it is amazing. So for Thanksgiving, I would just get Cornish hens. And I would just make us two Cornish hens in the rotisserie. Because, you know, that's a lot of meat cooking a whole turkey. Especially if we don't eat it all. I know I could freeze it, but I still feel, I don't know, I'm a waste. It takes all day to cook. But this Thanksgiving, I'm going to home to Dallas I'll probably shoot some mukbangs there which would be fun maybe I'll show y'all my family cause it's like is there any more meat on there you go Joe nice um cause my sisters and my nephews and my niece only got one niece my little princess um Okay, now that's just skin and everything, I think. Let me measure. Oh, that was meat. I'm 
my nephews and my niece are all going to be there. And my two sisters and their husbands. But I feel kind of bad leaving Jamie behind. Look at that. It's all juicy. Oh. I'm about to get the rest of this little wing. They thought it was going to escape me, but I don't think so. No. I should have did this a long time ago. It was so good. Mm. Every time I eat chicken, I wish I could give JoJo a bomb. But you can't give your dogs cooked chicken bones. They'll die. Because the bone will like splinter in their stomach. And it'll mess up their internal organs. Learn that. Mmm. I feel kind of guilty leaving Jamie for Thanksgiving this year because I think it'll be the first year that I don't cook. Last year he was on deployment. So I did, he was going to be gone for Thanksgiving and his birthday. So I pretty much just made him Thanksgiving dinner before he left. And then I made him a birthday cake before he left <coughs> so we could celebrate him, you know? <sighs> It's really the skin that be setting it off. Like, bones clean, okay? So I'm probably gonna end up doing that again. Like, making him another. Ah! Making him a dinner before Thanksgiving. I can't be leaving my homie out here with no food. Do I want another leg or a wing? Y'all should see. Let me show y'all what I did to this side so far. Well, hold on. There you go. Now you can see in there. I got this knife just in case I felt like being a grown up. I, don't, I want the skin too. <laughs> Getting away from me. Mmm, I should try it. Ooh, I'm gonna do that. Put some more on my mashed cauliflower in that chicken juice. Mmm. And then, like, on Thanksgiving, I always make pretty much the same stuff. You know, we all always eat the same thing. I want my dad to like grill or something for Thanksgiving one year. I think that'd be fun. You know, and just kind of different. Well, good move. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's all skin and fat. So much you can jump. Okay, let me slow down now. Because I'm not about to stop. <laughs> I'm not stopping right now. But I need to catch my breath. Whew.
you see, and I like putting the little fruit in my water because it just adds like a little bit of flavor. I haven't been drinking as much water lately. I'm trying to get better, but I've been slacking. That was bubbly. Oh my gosh, I did that questions game on Instagram today. It's just pretty much like, it's not a game. It's just like, ask me anything and you put it on your story. We're getting pretty interesting. So these are gone. <laughs> I, I use different things to prop up JoJo's. I mean, to prop up my plates. <laughs> if you go back to my fruit mukbang, you can see I actually have, Joe has this little broccoli. Where's this broccoli? JoJo, where's broccoli? Where's, you know, I ain't even gonna look cause I got food. He has this little broccoli that he got out of a gift bag um, for a doggy birthday party we went to. And it has like a smiley face on it. So if you go back and look at my fresh uh, fruit mukbang, as I start to eat, and you get to a certain point of the video, you can see the broccoli smiling underneath the bowl. It is so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Cause I noticed it way after the fact. <clears throat> oh. It just be like dripping. Look at that. Oh, yes. Ooh. Mm. Oh, nice, right? Mm. 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 And the best part is like. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to eat all of this, but, like, Jamie don't like the skin on chicken. Right? That's the best part. But he don't like it. So I get to eat it. So I could skin this thing, and he'd be okay with it. And if you think I'm above eating chicken skin, you are wrong. I'm not. I'll eat it all. <laughs> and leave the chicken. Mm. You're not getting no more. Because I gave you a lot. And I don't want you to get sick. I think I like slicing more when I get to the light, like the white meat. <sighs> but I like to rip it off when it's the dark meat. <laughs> but like, I like dark meat better than, what? I like dark meat better than white meat. What y'all like best? Like I know white meat is better for you, but I don't care. All the goodness goes to the chicken's thighs and legs <laughs> and wings. And my parents have a wing stop, so I'm always eating wings. So I love wings. It was actually my first job. I worked at their wing stop in Nebraska. Ow, I don't know if I should even be trying to eat that. I think it's just the neck. <laughs> oh. mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about the back of the chicken. Mm. That was good, that was satisfying. 
<laughs> Y'all wanna see what I did? Ooh, I don't want it to fall. Yeah. I almost want to cut off the other wing just so I can make sure I have it and Jamie don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Mm. <sighs> that was nice. I will tell y'all one question that I was asked about on my YouTube story. Um, one of my sub or followers asked me, how, how do I motivate myself when I'm not feeling it? And... I always remember this. Ooh. I always remember this um, meditation that I took once and it was talking, not even once. I mean, it wasn't that long ago. I found this amazing meditation app that I really like. The whole meditation was pretty much saying, I love you and I am listening. And that's like a mantra that you're supposed to tell yourself, like a, a, an affirmation of sorts. Because I fall into habit. Like I told y'all, my habit is like turning on television or like just, or being on, my, on Facebook or something like that. Like non-productive habits that are just habits that make me comfortable. But when I tell myself that, it keeps me mindful that I do need to be listening to what I, what the inner me wants, not just, you know, surface level. Oh, well, let me just watch Real Housewives real quick. It reminds me of my dreams and the goals that I've set for myself. And it's easy to not listen to yourself and to silence your subconscious. But like, don't. And if you started that habit, slowly start to pull yourself out because you'll be distracted forever. There's always gonna be a new post on Facebook. Uh, There's always gonna be a new YouTube video. And if you don't organize your time, you are not going to ever get anything done because you're always gonna be distracted. So when I'm feeling like that and I really need to focus, I just take deep breaths. I'll even lay there in silence for like 10, 15 minutes and just let my mind wander into wherever it wants to wander into and reflect on those thoughts. Because that's usually when I think of my dreams and I think of what I want to accomplish. If you get stuck on Instagram and you're just looking at other people's lives, wishing that that was your life, you just always are going to be wishing. But instead of admiring those girls or those guys' lives, admire their work ethic because that's the part that we forget about. It's so easy to just think somebody has it easy, but like we put a lot of work into making this content. It takes a lot of our time. So <clears throat> to get to that point, whether you're trying to build a social media career or a business or no matter what it is, it is that you're trying to accomplish, just remember those goals, even in the times, especially in the times when it's the hardest, because that's when you're really going to start training your brain to make that the habit instead of turning on Netflix. But you can always turn on me. <laughs> so... I guess that is my takeaway for you guys today. I hope you liked it and leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. I will talk to you later. Well, I'll talk to you tomorrow and you guys have a good evening.